Today, we're installing your new 51 volt skinny eco battery lithium battery for an EasyGo TXT. Your battery bundle should include the following items an eco battery lithium battery, charger, optional DC to DC 12 volt converter, CAN LCD meter, and an EasyGo TXT charge port. Block the cart and set the parking brake to prevent the cart from rolling. Turn the key to the off position. Remove the seat by tilting and lifting it straight up. Place the run tow switch in the tow position. Photograph the existing battery compartment. Identify and label the main positive cables, main negative cables, and any additional wiring associated with the batteries. If applicable, remove the battery watering system, clean any spills with a disposable rag, and safely discard them. Using a 14mm socket, remove the main negative and main positive cables from the batteries. Remove the remaining cables connecting the batteries. Using a 16mm socket, remove the two battery hold-down nuts and washers. Remove the battery hold-down bracket. Carefully remove the batteries and J-hooks. If your battery compartment is dirty, take the opportunity to clean the area. Determine which corner of the battery tray you would like to install the battery in. Locate the factory charge port and identify the drive-off safety protection wire coming out of the back of it. The drive-off protection wire will generally be the smaller of the three wires. Cut the drive-off protection wire from the back of the charge port. Remove the factory charge port by drilling out the four rivets holding it in place. Install the Eco Battery charge port with the provided hardware. Securely mount the Eco Battery charger in a location safe from direct water spray. Maintain at least 6 inches of open space from the fan. Connect the gray Quick Connect connector to the corresponding connector on the charging port. If your cart has lights or 12 volt accessories, install the 12 volt converter using the 12 volt converter quick start guide and the provided diagram. The guide is linked in the description below. Install the DC to DC converter in a convenient location. Connect the DC to DC wire harness to the DC to DC converter. Make sure that the connector snaps securely. Locate the drive off safety wire previously removed from the stock charging port. This wire needs constant power in order for the controller to function. We suggest installing a 5 16 ring terminal on the end of the wire and connecting it to the positive terminal of the battery. Route the DC wires toward the battery. Route the orange DC to DC converter key on power wire and meter harness under the cart and up into the dash panel. Remove the two screws from the key switch. Remove the cup holder. Locate the constant power wire on the back of the key switch. Combine this wire and the orange DC to DC key on power wire together in a single spade connector or use a piggyback spade connector. Reinstall on the key switch terminal. Reinstall your cup holder. Decide which method you would prefer to use to mount your battery meter. A few examples are shown. Method 1. Flush mount. Find a suitable location for the LCD battery meter. Before cutting any holes, ensure that you can route the meter cable to this location and that there is sufficient clearance behind the meter. Use a 2 and 1 16th inch hole saw. 52 millimeters to cut the hole for the meter or use the optional mounting bracket not included to mount the meter. To show the process, we will repeat these steps on and off the cart. Place your battery meter bracket to the back of the meter. Attach the supplied nuts. Plug 
plug the battery meter harness into the back of the meter. Then, fully secure your battery meter to the bracket. Method 2. Optional Mounting Bracket Find a suitable location for the LCD battery meter. Before cutting any holes, ensure that you can route the meter cable to this location and that there is sufficient clearance behind the meter. Cut a hole large enough to route your harness connections. Use the optional meter mounting bracket and hardware to mount the meter. Method 3. Steering Column Mount Clamp the steering column mount at your desired height. Cut a hole in your dash to run your harness connections through. Make sure your harness can reach the battery meter. Then, fully secure your battery meter to the bracket. Then, route the cable to the back of the LCD meter and connect both white connectors to the back. Reinstall your cup holder. Referencing your 12 volt converter guide, complete the DC to DC wiring. Each cart is different depending on the model and accessories. In some instances, you may need additional connectors, distribution blocks, or tools to complete the installation. If you have questions, please contact your dealer. Let's take a look at the connections on the converter harness. The small yellow wire connects to the main battery positive. The small black wire connects to the main battery negative. The larger red and black wires connect to your positive and negative 12 volt accessories. And finally, the orange wire should be connected to a key on power source. Ensure eco battery is off by pressing and releasing the power button until the green LED is off. Place the battery in the tray. Mark the two outer mounting holes on each side of the battery with a marker. Remove the battery. Drill the four marked holes with a 5 16th drill bit. Reinstall the battery and secure the battery with four 5 16th bolts, washers, and nuts. Route the charger cables towards the battery. Connect the main negative and associated negative wires to the battery. Cables and wires should be stacked in order of highest load to lowest load with the cables carrying the highest load placed closest to the terminal. Connect the main positive and associated power wires to the battery. Terminal bolts should be tightened no more than 8 foot-pounds, or 72 inch-pounds. Install the terminal covers. Connect the LCD meter harness to the battery, making sure to align the alignment tab on the battery and 90 degree connector. Connect the charger CAN cable to one of the two CAN connectors on the meter cable. It does not matter which connector you use on the meter cable. Secure any loose wires and cables. Double check all wiring. If you're not 100% sure all wiring is correct, do not power on the battery. If you're confident the wiring is correct, power on the battery by pressing the on-off button. Once the button is lit green, the battery is on and power is available. Turn the tow run switch to run. Reinstall the seat. 
Test the cart to ensure it moves when the throttle is pressed. Check the 12 volt accessory function. Charge the battery fully before any extended driving. The LCD meter will self-calibrate to 100% after the first full charge cycle. Please refer to our user manual for additional information about the operation and care of your Eco Battery Lithium Battery.